Born in Lexington, Kentucky in 1888, Hal Price Headley took the baton from his father, Hal Pettit Headley, at an early age. Sent to oversee a draft of horses traveling from Kentucky to the World's Fair in St. Louis, Headley was said to have returned with a box of ribbons and $4,600 in prize money. He was 14 years old. Headley later dropped out of Princeton when his father suffered a stroke and was thus cast in a role of running the family's LaBelle and Beaumont farms in Lexington. Headley's signature contribution to the turf has generally been regarded as his fundamental role in the creation of Keeneland Racecourse. During the mid-1930s, Headley spearheaded a largely local effort to replace the Kentucky Association track, which had closed a few years earlier after operating for more than a century. Headley's vision and acumen helped make Keeneland not just a racetrack, but a beacon for all that is elegant in the world of thoroughbred racing. It later added a sales arm, which became a leader in the world of thoroughbred auctions. Headley became Keeneland's first president in 1936 and maintained the role until 1951. To aid the track in its early years, Headley provided workers and mules from his own farm to help operations. In his own multifaceted breeding, racing, and sales career, Headley bred and campaigned the champions Meenow, Alcibiades, Apogee, and Ask Me Now, among a total of 88 stakes winners. Alcibiades won the Kentucky Oaks in 1930, and Headley won the Oaks a second time in 1938 with Flying Lee. After Hal Price Headley's death in 1962, the Blood Horse magazine said, in all-round mastery of the various aspects of thoroughbred racing and breeding, Headley had no equal among his contemporaries. Today, one of Headley's daughters, Alice, owns Mill Ridge Farm with her husband, Dr. John Chandler. The international reputation of Mill Ridge was enhanced by Mrs. Chandler breeding Sir Ivor, a Keeneland auction yearling which won the historic Epsom Derby in 1968 for his buyer, Raymond Guest. Sir Ivor streaked ahead to pass the post a length and a half clear of Connell. Sir Ivor launched a quick sequence of American bred successes abroad, which had a role in the acceptance of Keeneland as a source of international winners of the highest order. Alice's sons have been instrumental in the continued success of Mill Ridge today and have branched out into other racing ventures that have helped further the rich legacy of the Headley family in American racing.